Shortstop Anthony Volpe and outfielder Jason Dominguez highlight the non-roster invites. Three of their top four prospects were invited to camp this year. So uh, Anthony Dominguez has not played above double A and with that he's only played five games in double A. Are you surprised at all that he got the invite? You know, he turned 20 yesterday, Michelle, which is crazy, right? Uh, I mean, feel, it feels like we've been hearing about this guy for like nine years, right? And uh, Instagram's been going crazy with his batting practice swings down in Tampa. But I I'm not surprised he's been invited to camp because I think that he is the level of prospect that it's time to get him around the big leaguers now so he can start sort of absorbing, uh, you know, the way to do things, the right way to go about his business, all that stuff, Harp. And I, I think it's a good spot for him to be in. Uh, look, if he's one tenth as good as all the, you know, the internet scouts say he is, I mean, this is the Mickey Mantle too, right? <laughs> so I, I think the idea of getting him with the big club around the guys and the work ethic and all that sort of stuff is is a, is a good thing. I mean, look, he's got a flair for the dramatic. A couple of home runs in the Eastern League clincher last year uh, for the Double A team, uh, one from each side of the plate. I mean, that's great stuff. This guy's a monster prospect. Let's you, see what he can love, do. You love this guy. I love I love prospect. You know, I love prospect. He is look, a if he super starts, prospect. if he start stumbling then trade him you know <laughs> <laughs> all right uh, Harp if Anthony Volpe has a big spring do you think that he could win the starting shortstop job why not Michelle they've been they've been waiting for this guy for a couple years now they've been basing their whole offseason programs the last couple years around this guy getting there he's had, he continues to get rave review in the minors mostly double a last year but he could be ready I mean if he has a big spring why not I mean I think he was up to number five and in, in, uh, a prospect in all of MLB by one of the services that does that so he's got all the tools every all the scouts love is intangible so I think if he has a big spring why not let him start that you could always look if, if they're not strong enough to, to, to take a, a demotion if they don't start out well then they're probably not going to make it anyway so why not start him you got Peraza as a backup there if you need it so Get the kid here up, see what he can do. That's that's could be the one big difference between them this year and last year yeah. in terms of their offense. See, so guys, I think he's probably a guy who's ticketed for June. When you look at it, to me, the fact that he hasn't had a lot of AAA time, and last year, April and May, he was abysmal. You go back and look at his minor league stats, he's always been a little bit of a slow starter. So even if he does have a good spring, why not let him go down to AAA, hit really well, feel good about himself, and come back up in June? You mentioned Cabrera. They also have Glaver Torres at second base. They could put Volpe at second base eventually. But if they're going to maybe trade Torres, which is what a lot of people think is going to happen when he does come up long term, don't you have to kind of show him off and show what he can do to work this kind of a deal? I think Volpe's going to be a guy who's going to help them for a long time. I just don't see this whole he has a chance thing in spring training. I think he'll make it interesting. I think fans will get excited. But ultimately, I think he's going to start the season at Scranton. 